Hi, my name is Kelly Christmas and I thought that I'd do a little get to know me Q&A since you guys probably like don't know too much about me and if you guys are subscribed, I bet you guys want to know a lot about me so I thought I'd just talk about myself and let you guys get to know me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and if you're new, subscribe as it helps me out a lot. So I am currently 19 years old. I turned 20 January 9th. I was born in Baker County, Florida and when I was 5 years old, I moved to Davidson, North Carolina. No, I moved to Huntersville, North Carolina. I moved there because my dad got a job in North Carolina as a welder, and we decided to just move there. And the reason why we just didn't end up moving back to Florida was because I started school and my parents didn't want to take me out and have me just go to a brand new school. I lived in North Carolina for about 13 years, and then after living in North Carolina, I moved to Alabama so I can go to college here at the University of Alabama. My parents decided to join me. They wanted to move out of North Carolina, um, they wanted to move to Florida, but they decided just to go to Alabama since it was cheaper to do in-state for three years than just do out-of-state for all four years. So they decided to move here, and they're about like five-ish minutes from me. Not too bad at all, so I always send my packages there. They're my little like UPS, so I'm not even going to lie. So yeah, it's definitely changed living here in Alabama, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I absolutely love getting out of North Carolina. I love living in North Carolina, but I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so I'm a dancer. I've done dance for 13 years of my life. Ever since I've moved to North Carolina, I've done dance. And I've done competitive for nine years, I think. Yeah. Um, so I've been dancing my whole entire life, and I'm dancing still in college. I've also did cheer. I did cheer when I was like in elementary school, but then I did um, junior varsity for my high school. I did not do varsity for high school, but I did do junior varsity. I did it my freshman and sophomore year. It was so much fun. I wish I could continue, but I decided to take more on dancing than I did with cheer. Here at the University of Alabama, I am a double major. I am a creative media major with also a dance major as well. I was a business and dance major, but then I ended up changing it because looking at the course of business, it was all math, 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 calculus, math, math. Girl, I don't know numbers. Like, I just, I can't. My big, who I'm actually living with now, was like, yeah, I'm a creative media major. And I'm like, the hell is that? She was like, filming? I was like, hold up. Hold the phone. You're telling me that I can literally do filming as my major. And she was like, yeah. I was like, so I looked into it. I talked to my parents and they're like, yeah, that's fine. Like do whatever you feel like you'd want to do. So I went into my advising appointment and I switched my business major into my creative media major. It did not hurt me at all because my first semester of my freshman year, I did all gen ed classes and then two dance classes. So when I switched majors, it was completely fine because I did nothing with business. So I wasn't falling behind or anything like that. I love being a creative media major. I've learned so much about like cameras and filming and all of that that literally like is going to be helpful in the long run. After college, I have many things that I want to do. What do I specifically want to do? I don't know. Still a question mark, but I'm still also a sophomore here at the University of Alabama. Logistically, I want to get into wedding videography. Um, I want to be a travel wedding videographer, so I travel the world and just film weddings and edit them and send them off. Um, I always love watching like wedding videography. I think they're just so cute and so great and they're a lot of like my editing style, the little like slow-mo with pretty music and you know I like filming that kind of stuff of like they're holding hands and their little veil. I just love filming that kind of stuff. I find it interesting. I've never filmed a wedding. If you're having a wedding, I'll film it for free just so I can have a wedding videography out there. No, I'm totally kidding. But if you are wanting a wedding videographer, I am available. Um, here's my contact. I'm just kidding. But that's what I logistically want to do. And then later down the line in life, when I can kind of like, I'm older, I can settle down, figure out exactly where I want to live for the rest of my life, I want to open up my own dance studio. I want to call it Dancer's Edge. I want to do a competitive studio while also doing like rec, which is like, you know, just normal dance. People don't compete. I've always wanted to open a dance studio. I wanted to call my dance studio Dazzle Dance which is just really funny because like my roommates like her like no nickname like my nickname is like Christmas tree her nickname is Dazzle Bling and it was funny because like all my life I thought I was gonna call my studio Dazzle Dancers and then I decided to change it just because I do want a male audience in my dance studio that I didn't want them to come and like look differently because they see like the Dazzle and all that so I changed it to Dancers Edge 
And how I came up with Dance's Edge is actually the, um, the Disney Cruise for the teen, like, teen club or whatever. It's called The Edge. The Edge Program. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I like the, like, logo that they have. It's like a greenish and bluish color. So I decided to stick with that and call my dance studio Dancer's Edge. So Dazzle Dancers is now gone. And when I met my roommate, I literally was like, oh, you like diamonds and stuff like that. That's funny because my YouTube logo used to be a diamond. And I used to want to call my dance studio Dazzle Dancers. So it was just really funny. But now with Dancer's Edge and now my logo is a Christmas tree. <laughs> Also, after college, I would love to be a travel vlogger. I would love to just travel the world and vlog it and put it up on YouTube. That'd be something else I would love to do. But obviously, I can't do any of that if it wasn't for you guys. So if I keep growing, then I potentially can actually do that. And that's one of my dreams. And also, if I get to do that, then you guys get to see some fun places. Like I could do travel to like Greece or wherever I want to go. And just vlog it for you guys so you guys can watch it. Um, but another thing that I want to do, I would like to dance on a Disney cruise ship. I want, I love musical theater. I, I just, I just love it. I love dancing musical theater. I love seeing Broadway shows. I like the music. I love it all. I really just like want to be on a cruise ship so one, I can travel. You can see a repeating program here. I just want to travel the world basically. Um, but I can travel while also doing my job in dancing and I want to do a Disney cruise ship because I'm a huge Disney fan like other people in my sorority like my roommate's a Disney fan but like I'm the Disney fan like I'm the biggest Disney fan ever I'm not an over the top Disney fan but I just am a huge Disney fan and I'm also a huge Harry Potter fan so I do want to dance on a Disney cruise ship that would be really fun but I can't sing so I don't think that's gonna happen because I think you have to sing and dance and uh, I can't sing Speaking of like Disney cruise ship and Disney, I am planning on doing the DCP. I want to do it right after I graduate because once you graduate you have one year to apply and all of that jazz. So I think that I want to apply the fall after I graduate and more than likely I'll be a photographer just because of my major is creative media. They'll probably more than likely put me in the photography program. Which my friend, if you watch my 21st birthday vlog, not my 21st birthday vlog, my roommate's 21st birthday, um, but that vlog, my friend Lily came to visit. She's in the DCP and she has the same major as me and she got photography. So that's probably more than likely what I'll be. But yes, I'm interested in doing that. I just physically can't study abroad during the semesters here because I do hold an officer position for my sorority. I am constantly busy that I cannot just study abroad. I do want to study abroad, but I'll have to study abroad in the summer. Um, I want to study abroad next summer, not this following summer, so like my junior year summer. I want to do a semester at sea. Um, probably most of you watch Gracie O'Connor's vlogs. She did it. I'm interested in doing that. I would love to do that. That seems so much fun. But yes, I want to do that. They do a two-week trip. And I think that'd be fun just to kind of like go off by myself, see if I can even like do this whole traveling thing by myself. Because obviously I won't always be with my parents. And plus I could just also get school credit for it. Like who wouldn't want to do that? That's something I'm looking into for next summer. This summer I'm got some cool trips planned. I just hope they all work out. <laughs> My favorite place I've ever been to is either Hawaii or London. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. I love London so much. Like, London is so pretty. It's so clean. They're high tech. But I really, I really love London. I went my, going into eighth grade summer, I had a blast. I'm trying to go this summer. I'm trying to like, you know, skirt over there again because I love it so much. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going back on Disney. But I've been to three parks on Disney. I have three left. So I've been to Disney World, obviously, Disneyland California and Disneyland Paris. The ones I have left is the Disneyland Shanghai, Disneyland Tokyo, and then there's another Disneyland, but it's in China. There's two in China, one in Tokyo. I just, I can't remember the name just because I'm not always, I'm not near them. So like I can't, I don't really keep up with the updates of them. I keep up with the updates of the ones in the USA. So I've been on two of the Disney cruise ships and I have three left. So I've been on the Fantasy and Magic and I still have to go to the Wonder, the Dream, and the Wish. I want to go in the new ship. The ship looks gorgeous. I'm also, like I said, a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Gryffindor, so if you guys are Harry Potter fans, I'm a Gryffindor. And yes, I'm so excited about the new Hogwarts Legacy game coming up. So I'm a Sigma Kappa here at the University of Alabama. And yes, I hold an officer position. I'm public relations. So I run the Instagram, the TikTok, the Facebook, which I still don't have access to 
I don't know why. But I run all of that stuff. So if you look up UA Sigma Kappa, all those posts were made for me. Um, I think it looks gorgeous, not gonna lie. But yes, I run the Instagram for my sorority. I'm also a webmaster. So I'm in charge of doing the website, you know, making all of the like little writing all the things, putting the pictures on there, all of that jazz. So I'm public relations and webmaster. This is something that you guys will learn in a few days, but homecoming is right around the corner. Yes, I am vlogging it, don't worry. But I'm in charge of two things for homecoming. There's so many things for homecoming, but I am choreographer. So me and another girl are choreographing a dance for the homecoming dance. All the sororities go in and we do like a little dance competition. So much fun. So I am choreographer for that. And also, I'm doing Paint the Town Red. I'm designer, so I designed a little mural for the window, and I'm also painting it. So, last week, or this week technically, in the next week, because next week's homecoming, next Saturday, is, it's, um... By the way, I'm filming this on Friday, October 14th. So, next Saturday is homecoming. It's going to be extremely busy for me next week. That's why, like, I have to get this video out to you guys on a Tuesday. So, if you're watching this, hi, happy Tuesday, or happy Wednesday, or happy Thursday, or happy Friday, or happy Saturday, or Sunday, or Monday, whatever day you're watching it. Yeah, so, next week is definitely going to be really busy, and I have to get this out to you on a Tuesday. So, I'm having to film it now. That way, I can edit it and get it out on Tuesday. Um, what's my favorite type of music? My favorite type of music is definitely country. My favorite song, Unapologetically Country by Hardy. Oh! That song just hits the spot. I love it. I absolutely adore Hardy and Morgan Wallen. They're literally the best. I've been to two of their concerts. Well, I've been to the Morgan Wallen concerts. Hardy just opens. Both of the Morgan Wallen concerts, I've been, like, so close to him. Like, almost front row. Like, it's insane. One time I had VIP. Both times I had VIP tickets. One time it was just a pit, so I had to, you know, I should have gotten there a little bit earlier. And the other time I actually had seats. But... Absolutely love them so much. I love getting good photos of them. They're uh, I just love them so much. I just I can't. What's my favorite way to spend my day off? My favorite way of spending the day off is literally just laying in bed watching YouTube. Like I'm always just up and running, running around. I never have time to just lay in bed and just take care of myself. So when I have a day off, I just love to like lay in bed, watch YouTube, you know, maybe bake, like something like that. Like I love doing that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's my favorite way to spend the day off. Where is my next place on my travel bucket list and why? <sighs> I'm so basic with Greece. Greece. Greece, Tula, Mexico, or can't think of the name, but it's in Italy. It has all the buildings on the side of the what should we call it? And you can get in the water and take photos of the buildings. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. That place was inspired, or Luca was inspired by it. I just can't think of the place in Italy. I've been to Italy. I've been to Rome and Venice. And I think somewhere else, but I can't really remember. I love Italy. It's gorgeous there. Now I just want to go to that place in Italy. Um, Outside of the country, I've been to a lot of the Caribbean islands. I've been to a lot of the uh, Bahamas. I've been to Mexico, I've been to Hawaii, I've been to Wales, Ireland, London, Paris, uh, Rome, Italy, Venice, Italy. I'm trying to just check it all off. What's my favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is a half fest sundae with extra fudge, no whipped cream, and no nuts. <laughs> so basic, I know, but I just like vanilla ice cream with a lot of hot fudge. Like, I want more hot fudge on my ice cream than ice cream itself. Like, I, I just... I love hot fudge and I love hot fudge sundaes. What is the last TV show I binge watch? Um, Stranger Things, probably. Um, that was back in summer. That was the last thing I binge watched before Stranger Things was probably You. I love those shows. I love the Stranger Things series. I love the You series. I love Walking Dead. My favorite movies and TV shows are definitely fantasy. Obviously, you're not going to have zombies walk across the street. Obviously, you're not going to have a Mind Flayer and Vecna. Obviously, you're not going to have wands and magic. You know, obviously, with, like, Pixar, you're not going to have a little talking robot who cleans up trap. Well, maybe if we keep polluting the earth. I mean, we're not going to have cars that, like, talk to each other. We're not going to have a rat that makes, like, food. So I would definitely say, like, my favorite movies are definitely very fantasy. Like, it's something that's never going to happen. I just like watching that kind of stuff. I like to just escape from reality and go watch a show or a movie. That's not going to happen in real life. I would prefer to watch that than watch, like, a sitcom or something like that. You know what I mean? I like to just, like, kind of escape. Do I have a favorite holiday? I don't know. Do I have a favorite holiday? I would say probably like Valentine. No, it's Christmas. I mean, come on. It was when Jesus was born. It's, you know, it's a great holiday. Snow, Christmas trees, all of it. Like, it's, 
it's great. My favorite food, my favorite food is Alfredo pasta. I love pasta. Nothing beats going to Italy and having an Alfredo pasta, your favorite food, or spaghetti. So good. Do I like going to the movies or staying home and watching a movie? Staying home and watching a movie. Um, cheaper. I'd rather be in my PJs, cuddle up on a couch, and eating my own popcorn and candy watching the movie rather than sitting in an uncomfortable chair and you have to sit. You can't like lay down or anything. I'd rather watch them at home. This thing he says, what's your favorite quote from a TV, movie, book, whatever? So I'm back to Harry Potter, but it's just really funny because I don't know how my mom and I just like happened to somehow made it into a joke. But in the third movie, the third movie is my favorite movie with Harry Potter. Prisoner of Azkaban, mm, Harry Potter is so hot in that movie, let me tell you. He goes into the night bus, and if you understand Harry Potter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But the night bus picks up wizards that are wandering, and, you know, they need a place to go. And the little conductor guy or whatever comes out, and he was like, oh, like, you know, this is a night bus, whatever. And Harry falls over because he was looking at the thing, like, in the... In the woods and the night bus came he was like oh my gosh i have fallen over and the guy looks down he's like reading the card and he looks down and he's like what you fell over for and then you know they're in their like british accents he's like what you fell over for and then harry's like on the ground he was like i didn't do it on purpose i'm so bad like i just this is not british accent but he's like i didn't do it on purpose and, and, and then the guy is like well come on then it's just really funny and now like Whenever, I don't know, my mom's like, well, why'd you do that? I was like, I didn't do it on purpose. It's just a really funny thing that we do. And that's like one of my favorite quotes from the movie. You didn't got, you really didn't ask, but you know. Who's your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush is Logan Henderson. He's such a cutie. I love Big Time Rush. So I've been to two of their concerts. One concert, I was front row. And then another concert, I was second row. And I got photos with them. And it was so funny because we went to go take photos. And Logan just hugged me for the photo. I didn't even, my mom didn't tell him that he was my favorite. It was just, it was a great experience. But Logan was my favorite. Logan is still hot to this day. I would love to go to a Big Time Rush concert. I would love to go to a weekend concert. Man, if weekend came anywhere nearby, I'd be going to a weekend concert right now. I absolutely love Big Time Rush. They were one of my favorites growing up. My celebrity crushes are Ryan Reynolds. So basic, but he's so hot. Uh, Chris Pratt. And also Eddie... Eddie, what's his last name? Who plays News Commander and Fantastic Beast? Eddie Redmayne! Oh, he's cute too. Do I have any pet peeves? Yeah, when people chew loudly when they eat. What is one song that would always get me on the dance floor? Toxic by Britney Spears. Which meal is your favorite breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Probably dinner. My favorite season is fall. I love like the... The not too cold but not too hot feeling. I like the fall, the leaves changing, the pumpkins, you know, all of that. The fair comes in town. I love fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons for sure. What's my favorite board game? Monopoly. Do I drink coffee? No, I drink Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is my coffee. I, I drink Dr. Pepper at least three times a day. It's so unhealthy, I know. But I, I have a passion love for Dr. Pepper. If I could be any exotic animal, what would I be? A unicorn a pink unicorn I feel like that's very self-explanatory but a pink unicorn what's the best concert I've ever been to definitely Morgan Wallen the one I went to in Mobile Alabama that one was so good what's my favorite type of exercise I love walking the treadmill I like to set like a 30 minute timer and I'll walk in the speed of either 3.5 or 4.0 and I'll just put my airpods in sometimes I'll just listen to music sometimes I'll listen to a uh, preacher preach um, sometimes I'll put on like on my YouTube video a church or something like that and I'll just listen to it while I'm walking and getting some exercise. What's the essential part of my daily routine? Skincare. My skin is really bad right now. It really is. But I've also been dealing with stress. I haven't been eating right. I haven't been drinking as much water. Definitely my skin routine for sure is my daily essential part of my night and morning routine. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave off right now. If you guys have any more questions, you're more than welcome to comment down below questions. And I would love to do a Q&A and have you guys like actually ask me questions. And then I answer them in return. I would love to do that. I 
just wanted to do a little get to know me YouTube video so you guys can just get to know me more and who I am as a person. But if you enjoy the YouTube video, please do leave a like and subscribe if you are new because it really, really, really helps me out a lot and I'm so close to 1.1k subscribers and that's so exciting. Literally, thank you guys so much. I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys, seriously. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye!